This is my current list of priorities. I let my community decide what I work on next because I like to pretend to be a good guy. Do they want to see netcode devlogs with multiplayer? Nope. How about advanced AI? No. Nope. Oh, what about adding VR? It would be pretty cool, like Ready Player? Nope. Tavern games. I'm creating a game where you run a tavern. Don't you want to play games like Gwent? Take place in a tavern where you get to collect big titty goth girls? Oh, you don't like that? Fine. Go play Genshin, you degenerates. No, this all the way down at the bottom? This is what they want me to work on. Look, character creation is cool, but it's not something that you should prioritize. So, what makes a character creation system fun? I took a look at a few different games. Skyrim is a classic, but the sliders make it very difficult to go back to any previous selections that you liked. Elden Ring? Okay, pictures, pictures good. I'm dumb, I want pictures, no number good. So I know I want to have screenshots of all the character features, I then figured out the features that I wanted. I'm going to reuse some of the UI that I did for the tavern decoration screens as it'll keep the theme consistent, which is actually just a good excuse and prevents me from admitting that really I just don't want to do it all over again. There is a function to this madness though. As a solo indie dev, I need to prioritize what I work on in the time that I have. A character creation screen UI just is not that high on the list of priorities. With character creation screens, I find that I either spend five minutes in them and then never see them again, or I spend 45 minutes creating the perfect character that looks exactly like the same one that I made in the last RPG I played. Once I got that all figured out, I worked on creating a nice preview of the character. To do this, I nested a render texture in the UI screen. I'm going to start by setting up tabs for all the features and then loading one of these icon thingies for each option available. Now I'll have to keep track of all the options available to each sex to accurately display them. The basic functionality of this system involves loading an icon holder for each game object below a parent transform. There are 38 hairstyles, so I'm going to need 38 icons loaded. Then, when you click on icon number 5, it activates the fifth child object, allowing me to handle this entirely through code and not have to place a single icon myself. I may replace these assets once we get a little bit closer to the game's release, but they're perfect for prototyping right now. Cause my goal is to get this game finished uh, before we all die in a nuclear armed conflict. Thanks government. Very cool. Now I need the camera to be able to zoom in and out so you can see just how thick your- Hmm, <laughs> sorry about that. The real reason is so that you can look at the height and weight zoomed out, but if you wanted to zoom in to say look at the facial hair features that you wish you could grow, bada bing bada boom. Also, little update, I don't know if I've mentioned this on the channel yet, but I did finally get the netcode working over Steam, so I have been testing the game lately with a few little friends, and it's been going pretty well, so just wanted to give them a quick thank you. Now I have to create all the icons that I want the character creation screen to use. So I jumped back into my icon creation screen, loaded up all the models, took screenshots one by one, and then stored them all in a scriptable object for each race. Now, you may be saying, it can't possibly be that easy, uh, but it actually was that easy. A few dozen lines of code later, and now I can pull them into my scene. I can't wait to see what my community thinks of this. Really? Anyways, I made a few changes, got a sign off from the QA department, or just disappeared everyone I didn't like, and then carried on. Now, next I need to implement a way to spin the character so that you can look at the back of the head when you're doing stuff like selecting hair. Now, I don't know how to do this, so let me crack open YouTube. Do, 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 do. Yep, I think that's what I'm looking for. I also added a save feature that writes your character to a JSON file so that each time you open the game, it loads your character. Now, I ran a test to make sure that they're working in game. Oh, I screwed up the skin on the ears, didn't I? Yeah. All right, there's a few bugs, but I'll fix them. Also, if you want me to add elves and dwarves as playable races, then definitely like and subscribe this video for a part two. I'm just kidding, that's cringe as hell. I added both of them. So here's that dope looking elf that I made and a beardless dwarf that looks kind of like a South Jersey middle-aged Italian man. I then made some changes to resolve an ish. I don't actually currently display where the player is looking, so if you look up and down, the player's head doesn't move, and if you look side to side, the player actually completely spins. So to resolve this, I added animation rigging to the player's head. Now it looks wherever this red ball is. That totally worked first try. Okay, I am having a few issues 
but I'll figure it out. So our player now has the ability to turn their head to the left or right to the maximum rotational angle, which is 80 degrees to the side. And once he reaches that maximum angle, he will then turn his body to, uh, you know, prevent the head from turning too far. Also, all of this is transmitted working over netcode. See, psych, I tricked you. We are watching a multiplayer devlog, but... Also, mildly unrelated, but you may have noticed the character can now sit in those chairs that the customers normally use. So let's see this entire system in action. From the main menu, you can log into the character creation screen. From there, you select a race, humans, dwarves, or elves. From there, you select the sex. You can change the weight and height. You can then select the skin color. Then you can go through and pick your favorite head, your favorite eyebrows, facial hair, hairstyle, hair color, clothes color as well. That's about it. Anyways. Happy now? Do not like, do not subscribe, get the hell off my page. I'm sick of you guys. I don't know how to prioritize.